Today we've travelled to Clacton-on-Sea to Delau and we're going to find out how automation has solved a manufacturing problem here and also why they selected Mazak for this particular project. Sam, today we're here at your company, Delau. Before we talk about your latest investment behind us, can you tell me a little bit about the company, please? Yeah, well, we're a fluoropolymer specialist, uh, cradle to grave all the way through the process. So we, we buy in PTFE uh, raw polymer, we extrude it, mould it, and take that quite often all the way through machining, whether that be milling or turning. In what sectors do you typically cover? Uh, many, many. Um, medical, uh, semiconductor industry, uh, a lot out to the US. We do a lot of automotive and motorsport in the UK, aerospace, so pretty much everything. And if we focus on your latest investment, uh, the Mazak behind us, can you tell us about you know, the journey you've been to get this machine, including the robotics and the whole integration? Yeah, so whenever we purchase a machine, it's for a specific product solution. Um, this part we've been making for sort of a number of years, but previously it was a twin operation, so it used to be on a fixed head lathe, then taken to the vertical mills to have the finishing operation complete. Obviously completely inefficient. So we had a relationship with Mazak because we've got one just behind me out of shot and we got on really well with it. Uh, everything's good as gold. So we, we approached Alan and the guys at Mazak for a turnkey solution. I say turnkey because we've got vacuum system fitted on the subspindle, which is pretty important to what we do because obviously we can't be touching components too aggressively. Soft plastics, we need to make sure we have you know, a very, a very deft touch on the parts. So, some 12 months ago, we came up with a, uh, we worked with a solution with Mazak, and they nailed it basically and got it in and got it installed. We've been up and running now for about 12 months, and it's looking good. So, Alan, when Mazak look to put in turnkey packages, they're all slightly different, and they all have their little advantages and maybe challenges. And if we talk about the whole process from the robot picking the component up and basically the machining process and taking it out. How complicated is that? Stood here, it's very straightforward, but how about the control? You took the machine talking to the robot and the integration. The, the machine was bought ready for a robot, so it was bought with an automatic door and a robot interface, so it had the basic knowledge there ready, uh, and we supported the Lau and the robot supplier um, setting up that robot interface to work exactly as they wanted it to do. And this isn't your first success story here in this company, is it? They've bought previous machines as well, so there's obviously a good relationship there. Yes, it's a company that has always been a focus for me. Um, behind you is the first 250 MSY that they bought, and that's a manual load machine. And a year later, we installed this one ready for the robot. And in terms of the commercial side of things, we've got a robot here instead of a human being. And I believe this was done in multiple operations on multiple machines previously. So it, it sounds like a winner for them. Yeah, my understanding is it was manually turned in two operations and then manually, or milled on a five axis in two more operations. Now they're able to load from solid billet, head one, head two, unload the finished component in a much shorter cycle time. And what were some of the challenges you had to overcome in this process? I know, you know things like you can't clamp the plastic that hard, so clearly there's challenges there holding it rigidly so it doesn't fall out the, sp uh, the um, spindle as an example. Yeah. So, yeah, handling of PTFE and all plastics on everything that we do is, is super critical and not so much on the raw material when we're loading the machine but obviously the finished part coming off has to be free of dents and scratches so vacuum was the main challenge. But then we didn't want to just leave it as a manual operated, a manual loaded machine so we invested in a, in a cobot and uh, putting a robot into a machine in manufacturing environment felt like a big challenge and all I can say it really wasn't a challenge. It's so simple, so intuitive. Guys at Mazak were very helpful integrating it into the machine and uh, the whole thing's been seamless really, more simple than it actually looks in operation. Mm. And just finally, what, why were Mazak selected? They're not your only brand of machine tools here, so clearly they've done something, but maybe it was, a, you know, you experienced with the brand before on your previous machine, but obviously they've done something right here to win this contract. Yeah, and I think, you know, we don't, we don't select our machine tool suppliers just on price and a lot of what we do does come down to relationships. And we've only got one other Mazak on site and that's been churning out parts for a good two years before we purchased this one. And the relationship with them is really bred from that. Their service and support is second to none. We know that we can, the guys from the shop floor can ring them on the telephone and get immediate technical support. And we know that if there is a call out required, they'll be here next day without fail. So, that's really the key for us. And if you talk about the control, the smooth, in fact, it's a smooth G on this control, 
it's getting very popular now. Is that with good reason? Yeah, definitely. We um, typically we're a, an old traditional machine shop that we longhand program on machines. Um, this really enabled us to step into the offline programming, and the intuition and the simplicity of the control has really helped the guys. So I, it doesn't need to be. You don't need to be technically minded. You don't need to have CAD CAM experience. You can jump on the control and really just use your machining skills to intuitively program the machine. So. And Dallau here, you're a massive company, you're not scared of investment. When you look at future projects, is that likely to be with Mazak? Will they be considered? Absolutely. I won't say, say too much, but we're working on a big project with Mazak at the moment where we're going to start looking to combine mill and turn capability into a, into a turnkey solution. That so. support was key to this project working. We supported it uh, during build, project planning, pass off in their um, PEC department at Worcester but also the guys came here for a few days to help them nail it.